all retromaniacs, it's Oka Hellbine here from Retro Craft Shop and today I will recreate my glass orb house construction in the winter style, especially for you. I'm starting with gluing Tim Holtz tissue paper all around my old candle stand to create some kind of base for my construction. I create new edge with air drying clay and I'm pressing my stamp covered with oil uh, to create some patterns on my new edge and just filling all base with the same air drying clay. I just mark where I will put my glass orb and I dig into clay to create some kind of texture. In the meantime, I'm preparing little deco ornament that I will put in the front from some metal embellishments and I feel all this hole I create with my tool with little stones. For all surface, I'm putting this really nice moss. Uh, I love to use it in any kind of construction. It looks fine, it glue nice, it's really nice to work with and I'm putting it all over and then again a little bit stones to finish up my look. From some branches I created this uh, base of my tree and I just gluing a big puddle of moss on top and I think it looks really cute like totally tiny tiny real tree. Now it's time for my little house. It's snipper chipboard and I just pop out the roof part and then put Tim Holtz pumice stone distressing all over the rest of elements. Uh, I'm marking all windows and doors with white marker. On the roof I put distress ink in shade barn door. I feel that it's the perfect red for all kind of projects and I'm just assembling my little house together. From gel medium magic powder and a little bit of decorat antiquing cream I'm creating my perfect snow base and I put it into a small uh, bag cutting the edge to create like icing too and I just put my snow all around. When I decide that it's enough of puddles of snow I'm adding antiquing cream all over just to somehow smudge the edges of snow and create this winter feeling and then I just spring two kinds of glitter smaller and bigger one all over my work but just a tiny tiny bit to have shimmer but not totally shiny project then I place my orb with gel medium, of course when my work is dry because we don't want to ruin the snowing on the house. I'm adding my deco ornament on front of construction and finish it up with a little bit more snow and glitter. And basically you can stop and it's done but I added a little bit of little flicks from toothbrush and acrylic splashing to create illusion of snowing inside the globe and that's it you are ready to go if you like it give me thumbs up and don't forget to visit retro craft shop blog for more info for photos links and you can also find them in the video description and if you want to be updated with all videos i make please subscribe to my channel i wish you a nice and creative day with retro craft shop bye bye